middle of beef mince and then I've got two medium onions that have been processed as well as some uh, green chilli you don't have to put uh, green chilli if you don't want to, that's just up to you um, I'm going to be adding some masalas to this so I'm going to be adding uh, black pepper powder that's like uh, one or just under one teaspoon then I've got uh, also just under half a teaspoon of coriander powder and some salt for taste the other things that I'm going to be adding to this is going to be a ginger garlic paste as well as some fresh coriander leaves which I have chopped before um, I'm going to be adding everything to the mince and mix them so to get started guys so to make the curry for the meatballs I've got one tin of uh, chopped tomato half a cup chickpeas one and a half um, onions uh, processed ginger garlic paste just half a spoon a uh, teaspoon it's a black pepper powder and then some salt for taste turmeric powder and then I've got some garam masala okay so to start with the making of it we first need to fry the onions we need to put around just over four tablespoons of uh, olive oil on there once they get a little bit warm we need to add the onions so I'm just gonna be adding the onion <coughs> and then just spreading it around alright so we've got our onion ready we're going to be adding the tomato So I've got the chip piece here. I mean, if you didn't want to put the chick piece, you can always leave it out, so it's just optional. Uh, so the water is all dried, and we're left with just oil. Now, I've got some boiling water that I need to put on this. All right, the reason we put um, water in here is because um, for the meatballs, it wanted it to have really um, watery curry so that it cooks the balls well. Otherwise, if we just leave it with the um, tomato and the onion then it's not going to um, come up very well so I'm gonna just leave that to boil a little bit <coughs> okay so it is boiling now let's add our meatballs so I've got the meatballs here What I usually do to make the meatballs, water besides me so that the meat doesn't get stuck onto my hands. One gone. That's number two. Three. 
all right so i just wanted to show you guys on how i use the water so i dip my hand in the water and then make the meatball the reason i do that is because it will prevent it from cracking while it's inside the dish so yeah that's uh, one of the methods that you can be using um, otherwise you don't have to if you don't want to all right guys so now that i've finished making the meatballs um i've left the uh, flame uh, on to the medium to low while i was making it and i'm going to be keeping it to um the same flame so and now and to just put the lid on we're going to keep this um for a good 20 minutes uh, so that it uh, cooks well and Okay, to see if it's cooked. It looks like it's been it's been cooked now. I'm just gonna just move things around. Okay, that's that looks like it's been cooked. 